Hello everyone. We are going to be talking about importance of balancing your hormones with Dr. Tara Scott, medical doctor, OBGYN. Welcome Dr. Tara. Thank you, great to be here. Thank you so much for your support. I, I just want to understand why did you decide to switch to functional medicine from being a conventional doctor? Yes, I, I was traditionally trained and I loved delivering babies and I loved doing surgery, but I saw really a disconnect between um, when you're pregnant and even in menopause, there wasn't a lot of people that knew how to handle these transitions of life and there weren't a lot of options for women. So I started to study about hormones, mostly prompted by my own infertility for patients that wanted natural options. So p there are people that want therapies that don't always require a pharmaceutical or they want wanted some information on how to change things on their own. Okay, so I know you specialize on the hormone imbalance specifically for women. So let's just talk about um, why do we women have to experience our hormones going out of balance? So, you know, everybody goes through menopause. We can't avoid that. But why is it such a problem nowadays than it was, let's say, 50 years ago? Well, a couple of reasons. One, everybody's so stressed, especially with this last year and the pandemic. Mm -hmm. Stress increases a cortisol hormone, which affects the way your body processes estrogen. Mm -hmm. Two, our environments are just different. So many endocrine disruptors and plastics and things that can affect estrogen. Mm -hmm. Three, our diets are terrible. If you no. look at other countries, they do not have the problem that we have with menopause. Mm -hmm. So those would be the three large things, stress, diet, and environment that I think is affecting why so many more people have problems nowadays. And so, all right, so I know I couldn't agree with you more, but what are the common symptoms that women will start feeling like if the hormones are going out of balance? So for women, the most obvious thing is some kind of problem with their menstrual cycle, either too heavy, too mm -hmm. far apart, too close together, too painful. Those mm -hmm. are the common ones, but there are other things like mood swings, anxiety that is not normal or just sleep disruption that is interfering with their day-to-day -day function because they are mm -hmm. exhausted. And the biggest thing is rapid weight gain. That can definitely uh, signal that your hormones are off. So those are the common things that I see people come in for. Sure, so let's, let's talk a little bit about Functional medicine approach versus conventional medicine approach, right? So you've switched, you've seen the both sides of the pendulum. So what is the difference between the functional medicine approach? So let's just take an example. If somebody is in their 40s and having heavy periods, okay? Mm -hmm. So if they go into their gynecologist, the first thing that we're going to do as a traditionally trained gynecologist is to make sure there's not a cancer or a problem. That's mm -hmm. important. So mm -hmm. we'll get an ultrasound, maybe do an endometrial biopsy to rule out some kind of pathology. Mm -hmm. That's important. But then in the absence of, the, of uh, one of those things, they immediately go to birth control pills. Now, that patient may have already had their tubes tied, maybe her husband had a vasectomy, not need birth control, but mm -hmm. that's the only treatment they're given. Mm -hmm. And what does the birth control do? pill do? What's for birth control? To suppress ovulation, so it's synthetic hormones. Mm -hmm. If you uh, contrast to what would a functional medicine doctor do? Well, we still want to make sure you don't have cancer or you don't have mm -hmm. some kind of ovarian cyst or fibroid, but then we would look for the cause. The birth control pill is treating the symptom and it can work. Sometimes it works, sometimes it causes other problems, but it still does not treat the cause. So what we're gonna look at is what are your hormones doing? Why are your hormones doing that? What is the cause? Is your digestion okay? Is your stress affecting it? The things that you and I just talked about, do we need to detox your environment? What kind of changes can we make naturally? And then sometimes we do need to use hormone therapy for people. We prefer to use what's called bioidentical hormones, which is they are chemically, structurally the same to what your body makes kind of like sugar and Splenda. Splenda is an artificial sweetener, right? We would want you to take what you need to take, not an artificial comparison. Wow, so, so you're really going down deep, like it's like a deep cleaning, like a rotor rotor kind of a thing, right? I mean, yeah, or we describe it as peeling an onion, right? There's different layers. First, we're gonna go for the most obvious hormones. And if it's not hormone, we're gonna look at gut, we're gonna look at stress, we're gonna look at new micronutrients, we're gonna look for mold, we're gonna look for candida, like all these things. 
that's, that's very comprehensive. And I, I know that you have developed online programs. We have together, you and I have been working for the last few months. And what was the main reason you wanted to develop these programs? So I have been teaching other doctors for over 10 years about mm -hmm. how to do this kind of medicine. And so I already had a lot of the content that was teaching. I mean, it had to be changed. The audience is different. Mm -hmm. And people had been saying, you should really do an online course. And I said, oh, I don't have any interest. So the real reason I did it this year was because we were everything was shut down for spring break. We couldn't travel because of the pandemic. So I found myself with one week with no patients scheduled. So then I sat down and in that week created and recorded the course for patients because I'm constantly getting messages from patients mm -hmm. you know, through social media. Hey, do you know anyone here? Do you know anyone here out of the country in different states? And we cannot help people outside of our state in the United States because yes. of licensure. So I created that option for people who don't have, if I can refer them to someone in their mm -hmm. state, great. But if I can't, I wanted to have an option for people. What could they do on their own? What are the actionable steps that if they want to start on their own, what could they do? I mean, the world is into self-help and DIY now, right? No, I think that's great, and, and that's what I want to talk about, and we are so excited to launch this program with Dr. Tara Scott. Next week, you know, literally next week, we've been working tirelessly, and these programs are going to be very affordable, accessible, medical doctors, U.S. trained, accessible to all of you, and and, and that's what Dr. Tara Scott has, is doing. Amazing, amazing work. Do you want to add to that? Yes, I think you hit the nail on the head because of the way our healthcare system is. It, it is broken. It makes it very difficult for us to practice functional medicine under the confines of insurance. So it often becomes unaffordable mm -hmm. for the common person. You know, either they don't have access to a person or it's not covered by insurance or they don't have the budget for it. So we were trying to do something to connect with people mm -hmm. at a lower price point that they could still get Mm -hmm. some knowledge from doctors, like you said, mm -hmm. um, who are, you know, trained and mm -hmm. are going to have evidence based practices, mm -hmm. so that they could take that for themselves and try to kind of, you know, come take the wheel and command, you know, advocate for themselves and have tips on what they can do. Yes, absolutely. So uh, I just want to add and finish off with this. Uh, this is a small session. Dr. Tara has developed science based very detailed program that's based on functional medicine principles and anyone from the world, you know, I, I know Nourish Talk has a fan, people from all over the world who tune in, but anyone from the world can, can take that program and we'll have group discussions like about 25 people or 20 people together. We, you will have access to Dr. Tara Scott, medical doctor trained in the US. That's what we are trying to bring, affordability, accessibility to the top notch experts. Yeah, and I think, you know, at least in our functional medicine space, we are as providers trying to find out what is the model that we can reach more people because we don't want it to be exclusive. We want to help as many people as we can. So that group model that you've created is one way to get, you know, we've, we've done some group programs in our practices and have been really successful. So I love that you've added that on as a feature for your offerings because it's not just kind of like, okay, maybe there's different levels of comprehension. <laughs> Levels of, and someone may not be able to understand. So it's good to have that little feedback. Yes. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Tara, for, for you know sharing your knowledge here. And more knowledge is coming. Stay tuned. We will be sharing with everyone. Thank you so much. And thanks for all your hard work on your end as well. Thank you.